The hells we have lived through and live through still have sharpened our senses and toughened our will. Celebrated poet and activist Maya Angelou may have been speaking about herself on that day in 1995. Born Marguerite Annie Johnson in St. Louis, Missouri, April 4, 1928, the hells she lived through began at the age of seven, when she was raped by her mother's boyfriend. After she spoke out against him, he was beaten to death by a mob. Young Marguerite blamed herself. I was seven and a half, and my seven and a half year old logic deduced that my voice had killed him. So I stopped speaking for almost six years. And it was during those years of silence that she discovered poetry and her love of art. And somehow I'm able to get down inside myself, deep where a poem may live and find out what it has to say. Her poetry was first physical, winning a dance and drama scholarship in San Francisco, then later touring Europe in 1954 in Porgy and Bess. But her growing love for the written word took her to Egypt and Ghana, where she became a newspaper editor. In Ghana, she met Malcolm X and returned to the U.S. in 1964 to join his fight in the civil rights movement. After Malcolm X's assassination, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. asked her to join him. He was killed on her birthday, 1968. The following year, her first memoir was published, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. More bestsellers would follow. I want to write so well that a person has 30 or 40 pages in a book of mine before she realizes she's reading. Her books detailed personal struggles, like having a baby as an unwed teenager. That son later became novelist Guy Johnson. Cut. Blazing trails on the big and small screens, she directed documentaries. Her screenplay for 1972's Georgia, Georgia was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. And in 1977, she appeared in the landmark TV adaptation of Alex Haley's Roots. And grow as tall as a tree, and I will still be your grandmother. Maya Angelou was nominated for a Tony Award. She won three Grammys, and in 2011, President Barack Obama presented her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Former President Bill Clinton awarded her the Presidential Medal of Arts in 2000. Years earlier, at his request, she had written a poem for his inauguration. Here, on the pulse of this new day, you may have the grace to look up and out and into your sister's eyes. She called herself Maya, which was her brother's nickname for her. Angelo came from her first husband's name, Tosh Angelos. It is a long journey. It's a sweet one, bittersweet, and very blessed. She had created her own name just as Where she had created poetry from pieces of herself. Home. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak miraculously clear, I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so, naturally, there I go rising.